In a far corner of the Mediterranean Sea lies one of Europe's most popular destinations. Surrounded by 2,000 meters of fortress walls, Dubrovnik is one of the world's greatest walled cities. It's the last place on earth you'd expect to find a smart city. But these young people are changing all that. Dubrovnik created the first smart city program in Croatia. But instead of hiring corporations, they did something unexpected. The power of the city of Dubrovnik are the people, especially young people, who have knowledge and courage. In March 2015, Dura and CityOS organized a hackathon for young people to build smart city projects for their own city. Hello, my name is Petar. My name is Robert. My name is Dubo. My name is Andre. And my project will solve the problem uh, in the traffic in Dubrovnik. I'm working on Dubrovnik Art projects. The goal of our projects is to make it simpler for tourists to get constant updates with Dubrovnik Art. After 48 hours of intense work, their first functional prototypes were built. So we are using iBeacon signals to make things simpler for tourists because they will have constant updates on things that they can visit around them and things that are discounted. I do the hardware. It contains three ultrasonic sensors. When one car is over the one sensor, it will tell that place is full. The mayor pledged to support the winning projects to completion. Hackathon is the best project for city made in the last few years. Weeks later, Dura opened a tech lab for the winners to implement their projects. Their biggest challenge would be to make their prototypes work in the real world. I always liked uh, biology and technology and combining those two was always a dream for me and now finally the dream has come true. I always knew I would be working on cool projects and I was even thinking about leaving elsewhere to be able to do that. And now I'm really grateful that we have the environment where I can stay, do what I love and help our city. When I was a little kid, I was a tech scavenger. I liked everything that has LED light on it, on either screen. And I liked to dissemble it and assemble it in a different way. I found out that I was learning electronics, robotics and even mechanics. Just months later, their first projects were launched. We already finished one of the projects where we implemented some IoT technologies into one of the parks in Dubrovnik so we can follow the live data and remotely control the irrigation. We are using iBeacon technology to get the location of the user and show him the museums and restaurants that are near him. You have ultrasonic sensors on the parking lot. It will tell on your smartphone when one car is over the one sensor. We created an environment that welcomes innovation. We ensured best support possible and we challenge young people to make our city better. And they delivered. We are very proud of them. This April, the second hackathon was launched. But instead of competing, they are now teaching workshops to the next generation. From programming drones to controlling hydroponics. From robotics to building your own IoT devices. They are helping others build their own startups. It's amazing how many young, brilliant people actually care to work on making our city better. When you give them knowledge, support and a place to create, there is really nothing that can limit their imagination. Since then, more successful projects have launched, and Dubrovnik was awarded Best Smart City in the region. The coolest thing is uh, you have an application on mobile phone, and you have hardware, and when these two things come together, it's got a, a soul. I call young people from the city of Dubrovnik, from different city, to share their ideas, our ideas, 
to develop better and smarter city of Dubrovnik.